My house down south, we had torrential downpours for like 25, 30 minutes at a time. Uh, many rain gauges in parts of the metro area over the last four days, seeing anywhere from an inch to two and a half inches of rain, which, you know, you put that into perspective. Denver only averages maybe 15 inches or so, give or take a little bit, depending on what part of the city you are in annually. So that is a lot of rain for just a matter of a couple of days. 50s on the northeast plain, 60s on the southeast. Chilly in the higher elevations this morning. We are uh, in the 30s at many locations or low 40s. We have 50s to near 60 on the western slope. Nancy, our weather watcher west of Ray, 54 degrees. This is the big high pressure causing that crazy heat uh, in the Pacific Northwest. Now, if you kind of look to the far left of your screen, those lighter yellow colors, follow it up under the word jet stream through the top of your screen and back down here with the blue arrows. That is the air coming into Colorado. It's from the Gulf of Alaska. So it's humid and it's cool. And that is why we have been in this pattern because this high pressure is just kind of locked over the Pacific Northwest, not moving. So under the ridge, they are hot and on this trough, we are cool and unsettled. It's been a mixed blessing. Great news for our wildfires, but tough for late summer when you want to get out and play. We have sprinkles on the southeast plains this morning. Those will fade away here over the next one or two hours, and then they'll come back as we move into your afternoon and we get some daytime heating. Looks like the sprinkles in northeastern Colorado gone for the time being. Here's your future cast. So uh, mostly quiet through the morning, but afternoon showers and storms pop up again. They'll be moving from the north northeast to the south south west like they did yesterday. More numerous over the high country than the lower elevations and just like yesterday a few of these may last well into the evening. Today at the Rockies game mid 70s with a 40% chance for a passing thunder shower in the area. Cool on the eastern plains only 70s 60s in the high country but look to the west you see 80s and even a 90 there in Moab. It's going to take the entire week Kelly and Dominic but that air will slowly overtake the state we will go up a few degrees each and every day and by the upcoming weekend we'll be back in the 80s here in Denver with daily chances for afternoon storms. All yep. right thanks so much Chris. Well,